So today on Leash It Today, we have my husband here. <laughs> He's going to um, show how to put together the RA2 Pro Rotary. And then we're going to also show you how you can use it to uh, or set it up to make a tumbler and or a glass. So what you have here is your Rotary uh, X-Tool assembly kit. It's going to come with two Allen uh, screwdrivers. It's going to come with a drive belt, some longer screws, M4 by 20, which you can find in your manual on page 21. It's going to come with a little drive piece that's going to be attached here in a second. And the two Allen drivers are two different sizes, so you want to make sure that for the specific size screws, you use the correct size driver. Firstly, we're going to need to attach our drive piece. So what we want to do is flip our X tool over like so. And then right here, you're gonna see a little hole. That's how we're going to put our set screw in to attach on to this little metal shaft right here. On that little metal shaft, I don't know if you can see it on there. On the little metal shaft right here, there is a flat piece. You want to make sure that the set screw that goes right here in the little hole goes onto that flat piece on that metal shaft. So first, I'm going to set it up straight and I'm going to align it so that the flat piece, let's see here, aligns with that, okay. So if the metal shaft, if the flat piece is on the other side and it's away from your hole on the back side, what you can do is rotate your piece here and it'll rotate inside, allowing you to move that flat piece to allow you to get your set screw in. Can you lift it up just a little bit again? Um, this way and then show again you're saying twist here twist so you're here. twisting there that is twisting this yes okay so once you get that lined up you're going to take your drive piece and the set screw part you want to line up with that flat piece like so you can lay it down at this point, allowing for more stability. Then you're going to want to take your smaller size Allen driver, take your set screw, and a set screw is going to go in And then you're going to want to tighten that down like so. Now there are two set screws that you want to make sure get locked in. The one gets put onto the flat piece of the shaft and you're going to want to rotate that again to get to the secondary hole for the second set screw. So again, just to make clarify, he twisted again that bar on there to turn that um, little, like this drive piece. the drive piece in there so he can put it on the opposite side. Same process, just making sure the set screw is placed on both sides. Let me know if I am not saying it correctly.
Once you get both set screws in, make sure they're tight all the way down to the point where you can't turn it anymore. We can go ahead and set that tool down. We're going to want to flip this back over to our starting point. Now we are free to attach our secondary rotation piece. This is where your M4 by 20 screws come in handy. You can go ahead and just drop those down in there in their little slots. You're going to need your bigger Allen driver. And it's going to line up with holes A and B. Before you tighten that down, you're going to want to make sure that you take your drive belt. You're just going to slip it on there. Hold on one second. Go. You have to put the belt on before you tighten down the two bolts inside your rotary tool. So you put it on the one, slip it around the other while it's loose, and then you can move the rotary piece into place. There is a little flat piece right here that you're going to have it backed against when it gets into its slot. And you're going to want to start with the front one. Then you do the back one. Again, you want to make sure those bolts are nice and snug. And you want to make sure that the little teeth on the drive belt are in the grooves on the gear. Now, in order to test this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this guy right here. And as you can see, it's driving an internal belt in here, which is driving the main motor to then drive the external belt, which drives this piece right here. Okay, so for the next step, we are going to connect our single step jaw components to the rotary tool for things such as a pint glass. You're going to need your M4 by 10 bolts and your three single step jaw component pieces. And you will need your 2.5 Allen driver to assemble. Your check key will be needed when we attach the pint glass to those. First, you're going to want to give enough space on our, you're gonna to wanna to open it. Go. So when you're ready, you go ahead and you use your check key and you rotate it counterclockwise and what that'll do is it'll open up those teeth. Your next step, you need to figure out which holes, depending on the size of whatever you're trying to make, you want to attach it to. Ready? So when you attach this, there's going to be two holes. Here, right now we're using this one and this one to attach our single jaw components. Oh, 
will come back to you with the next step after all three are attached. Little tip, if you put one screw in when you're attaching, there are little guides on the bottom that will go along the sides of the piece that you're attaching it to. Now that we have our single step jaw components attached, I'm going to go ahead and add on our pint glass here. And using our chuck key, as you can see, there's a gap there. We're going to use the chuck key and clockwise turn it to get a grip onto that pint glass with our single step jaw components. You don't want it too tight, but just snug enough to where it grabs hold of the glass. Okay, so now we're going to add our stud components to do things such as engraving tumblers. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take our stud components Now that that's on, now that our stud components are on, we're going to take our tumbler and we're going to slide that right in there. And then taking our chuck key, we're gonna open up our stud components to grip inside of the tumbler. Rotating counterclockwise with your chuck key to open those stud components. Next, we're going to take our support device and our level to level out our tumbler and give it extra support during engraving. So when you place this right here, counterclockwise brings it down, clockwise brings it up. So we're going to go clockwise and it's already level, so we're just going to have it touch the bottom to give it that extra support that the tumbler needs. And make sure that you keep your level on the very center to make it level. Once it's level, and you can do this inside of your X-Tool machine, then you will be free to engrave your tumbler or whatever you see fit. For your rotary tool, once you have it all set up, you'll have your cable, your connection cable that will attach to the back and a little white six pin plug. You need to make sure, looking at it, the correct direction that it goes. So this little box right here, and it just slides right on. Make sure you push on the plastic part you don't want to push on the individual wires of the plug as that could cause damage. And once it's all the way in, you'll be all set to plug into your machine. Once you have your rotary tool inside of your machine, make sure that the power is off and disconnected. You take your connection cable and then right here inside of your S1 tool, you will see a little piece. That is the plug cover. 
So we'll go ahead and open that guy up and then we'll take our plug and this plugs in right here, just like so. You are then ready to start operating. All right, thank you guys for watching Leisha today and um, thank my husband for helping us uh, with how to put together a RA2 Pro rotary attachment to your X-Tool S1. Stay blessed. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.